What's up, LHS? Welcome to our first Blue Devil News broadcast for this school year. Today we have interviews with our head football coach, Coach Gentry, a promo for Mr. Clark, our choir director, and much more. Hey Blue Devils, hope you had a great first week back. I'm Jesse. And I'm Erin. Step Club trials are Monday, August 24th at 3 p.m. in room B303. Please see Ms. Norris for more details and information. Parking pass applications are available now outside of the bank. In order to receive your pass, the bank needs a completed application, license proof of insurance, and $20 cash or check made payable to LHS. Seniors can purchase Tuesday and Wednesday, August 25th and 26th. Juniors can purchase Thursday and Friday, August 27th and 28th. And everyone can purchase Tuesday, September 1st. This year, we're utilizing an online schedule change request process. Instructions for students wishing to request to drop or add classes. This is posted outside the cafeteria and it's also on the LHS webpage. Also, students continue to check their schedules and scour for updates. Guidance is making a lot of schedule changes, so students need to keep checking. Speaking of classes, are you interested in music? Our new choir director, Mr. Clark, is seeking students to take his vocal music one class and also wanted to start an all boys ensemble. Here's Mr. Clark with more information. Hey, Lebanon High School, this is Mr. Clark, your new choir director, and I'm reaching out to you because we need students for our Vocal Music One class. This is our non-audition choir for any grade level that's interested in singing. So if you're interested, please come see me and let's talk about getting you on the schedule. And also, men, I need some young singers for our men's ensemble. So if you might be interested at all in singing, come talk to me, please. I'm down here in the choir room and I look forward to meeting you and seeing you. Thank you. Since we will not have Club Rush, Student Council is developing a website that features clubs at LHS. Teachers, Landry Dixon will send you another email. Requesting information, be sure to check yours as soon as you can. Our first home football game is this Friday night against the Gallatin Green Wave. We anticipate a large crowd, but due to current regulations, it is important that you are aware of specific guidelines. We will hold admissions to 50% capacity, so once they're, they're all solid, the gate will be closed. You can purchase tickets online at GoFan.co. Be sure to select Lebanon High School. All spectators must enter the stadium wearing a mask, face covering, and must have their temperatures checked in order to enter. It would be wise to purchase your ticket before Friday night. Will we have a student section this year? We will find out after we throw it to our sports team, Ian and Logan. What's up, LHS? I'm Ian, and this is your sports news. Just recently, pro sports has started back up again, but they do have a lot of restrictions due to COVID-19. The NBA is playing all of their games in Orlando, Florida with no fans. They have virtual fans, but it's not really the same. They just finished their regular season and have started the NBA playoffs. Sadly, the Memphis Grizzlies did not make it very far as they played the Portland Trailblazers in a tiebreaker game last Saturday and lost 122 to 126. Leading the way for the Grizzlies was John ja Moran, scoring 35 points, eight assists, four rebounds, Sadly, though, it wasn't enough. Damian Lillard led the way for the Trailblazers, scoring 31 points, 10 assists, and 2 rebounds. The NBA playoffs consist of 8 teams. Now for LHS Sports. This week, Lebanon boys defeated Beach and Portland in a 9-hole match at the Lebanon Golf and Country Club. Ryan Betch led with a 39. Good job. The girls were defeated 86-90 to by Beach. Daryl Mitchell shot the low round for the Devilettes with a 44. Lebanon's next match will be Tuesday, August 25th at Long Hollows Golf Course against Greenbrier and Gallatin. The girls' varsity volleyball team won last night against Laverne High School. The Lady Devils won in three games with the scores of 25 to 15, 25 to 8, and 25 to 13. Last night, our girls' soccer team played at Portland. The game ended in a one-on-one -on -one tie after several second-half lightning delays. Goal scored by Isabella Simmons with an assist from Abby Bodie. Girls play again tomorrow at Wilson Central, JV at 5, varsity to follow. Friday night, our varsity football team takes on Gallatin High School at home. This is our first game of the season. And yes, guys, we will have a student section. 
Good morning. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the uh, Lebanon High School football game versus Gallatin. Uh, first home game of the year, 2020, during the COVID pandemic. A uh, little different. We'll be wearing masks uh, to school and into the game. Be taking temperatures into school and into the game. But we want to invite the students uh, to get online, buy your tickets, and please come. We uh, hope we can still have uh, some semblance of a student section, and, and we would appreciate your support. Our uh, young men have been working very hard since May 26th. Uh, still, we've been taking temperatures, social distancing, uh, bringing our own water, doing di things differently, uh, going in and out of the locker rooms in different manners. And, and it's been a, been a rough road, but uh, it's finally game week. It's time to uh, hopefully be able to play ball. We've been back in school this week, so uh, we look forward to seeing you guys out. We've had no scrimmages, no, uh, no work against any other opponents, so we're hoping that uh, we can come out and have a good showing, but I'm very proud of our football team and our program for uh, fighting through the adversity, and hopefully on Friday night at 6.59 we'll be ready to roll. Make sure you come out and show your support. Now, here's Logan with more Pro Sports. Thanks, Ian. Welcome back, Blue Devils. It's great to have you back. My name is Logan, and this is your sports news. Sports are back. In what felt like an eternity, we finally have a sense of normalcy. The NHL has done a phenomenal job with their return to play plan. Over the summer, the NHL commissioner and the NHL Players Association created a 24-team playoff. This was the first time ever the NHL playoffs have expanded beyond 16 teams. The qualifying rounds were a success, and the first round is currently underway, and we have seen some heavyweight series. In addition, the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Tampa Bay Lightning went to a five-overtime game in their first game of their first-round series. This was an absolute thriller, as it was notched at the fourth-longest game in NHL history. The Vegas Golden Knights look to close out their series tonight against Chicago, as they are up three games to one. In addition, the New York Islanders have a commanding three games to zero lead and are looking to sweep the 2018 Stanley Cup champions, Washington Capitals. As we take a look at the MLB, we have some large scores for big name teams. The Dodgers are off to a hot start as they currently have a record of 17 to 7. Last night, they prevailed by a score of 11 to 9 against the Seattle Mariners. Mookie Betts is on a home run surge as he hit his ninth home run of the year. We have another big game for you guys. Last night, the San Diego Padres faced off against the Texas Rangers. Fernando Tatis Jr. led the way for the Padres, finishing the game with seven RBIs. The final score was 14-4. to four. That's all for your sports news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Okay, students, good news. We will have a student section this year. However, due to COVID regulations, it will look slightly different and have limited capacity. The student section will be on the grass behind the end zone, on the end, the nearest the flat pole which is opposite to the scoreboard. Students will be assigned to a space that is six feet apart so that they can enjoy the game and social distance. If you plan on participating, you will need to sign up for a spot today and Thursday outside of the bank. It is a first come, first serve. However, you must buy your tickets in advance before you may reserve your student section spot. Here is how student spots will be distributed. We have 176 spots open to the students. We will sell 50% of the tickets to students on B day, 50% to students on A day. That's 88 and 88. We will not sell any tickets to the student section to ninth graders at this time. After this is full, you can still purchase tickets to the game, just not to the student section. Also, the theme for this week's game is Hawaiian, so make sure to reserve your spot. Now we know that's a lot of information, but no worries. You can always rewind us and listen again. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Jesse. And I'm Aaron. And, and this, this is, is the, the news, news to you from, you from White and Blue. Blue.